Hi guys, welcome to iTech Ferret. Today I'm going to have a look at the Logitech Harmony 300i remote. This is one of the all-in-one remotes from the Logitech range. It's one of the more budget ones. I picked it up for only £15. It lets you control four devices. Now first we're going to have a quick unboxing. As you can see it comes in this hard plastic case, but it does have a little um, like peel-down thing at the top, which eventually came off, a bit tricky at the start. And then basically inside, just take out the cardboard, and then there you get some batteries, which are two Duracell. Not often things actually come with batteries these days, so it's good to see. And then you get a mini USB cable, which is just a standard mini USB cable, the sort of thing that charges PS3 controllers. And then of course you get the remote itself. Now the instructions you get are pretty simple, just tell you to put the battery in and then write down the model and manufacturer of the devices and then plug the USB cable in. Ok, to set this up you need to go to myharmony.com. I tried on Google Chrome first as it's my default browser but apparently it's not supported. So I tried on Firefox and it seemed to work fine with Firefox. Now the first thing you have to do is fill out this simple form, it's just basic registration, nothing too complicated. When that's done you're asked to download a file and then once that's downloaded you run it and it's just a simple installer. And then eventually when it's done, it takes a few minutes, it opens up your web browser again and it takes you to the My Harmony website. And here it's just another simple set of instructions, pretty much self-explanatory, tells you what to do, what to click. OK, the first thing you have to do here is type in the manufacturer name for your television or whatever it is you're trying to set up, and then the model number. And then you press add, and what it does is it searches its database, and if it has the information for that system, it downloads it to the uh, remote for you. So you don't have to do any mucking about with setting it up like the normal way of codes or whatever. Now here you can see it wants me to teach the command for my Panasonic Blu-ray player. Now this only happened with the Blu-ray player and as you can see the way they want you to do it is to get your old remote and then the new Logitech remote and then line them up and at the bottom there is a infrared sensor on the Logitech remote so it tells you to press some keys and it teaches the Logitech remote so it says, it says press 1 so you press 1 and then it knows that's the command for 1 and basically you go for a few of these just to set this up. This only happened when I set up my Blu-ray player. It said it was something to do with how there are different versions of the Blu-ray player so I had to let it know which one this was. Now here we have the main menu once everything's set up you get a sort of control panel view and lets you see what devices are set up and then lets you edit them a bit if they're not quite working right and then at the top right there you can see you can sync the device which makes all the changes you've made applied to the actual remote itself so you can see you can set favourite channels change what buttons do the way the favourite channels work is that there are four buttons on the actual remote and then you can set which channel number each one of those represents so then once you press just one button say there with Sky you have three digit numbers for channel numbers and then you just press one button and it will then enter all three for you. Now my overall opinion of this remote is actually pretty good. For £15 I don't think you can go too wrong. It controls four devices pretty well. The only problem I really had with it is that my AV receiver, although the it was in the database, the button mapping doesn't really work as well because the controllers are so different that some of the buttons on the AV receiver just don't match anything on the Logitech remote. It's more of something you can use for Sky or any other satellite providers, like any televisions, Blu-ray. But for the AV receiver, there's so many buttons that are different that it really didn't work, and remapping the buttons just doesn't work well at all, as the names on the buttons don't really match anything on the AV receiver's controller. I was a big fan of the setup process, even though it didn't work for Google Chrome. It lets you just plug the remote in whenever you want, and easily change devices and set up what buttons work what. And it was actually really really easy. So if you're in need of a cheap remote to control multiple devices I wouldn't look any further than the Logitech 300i.